What happened in D.C. was, of course, tough for all of us to watch on television. Well, imagine being right in the middle of it, or covering it as a reporter. Local 4's Larry Spruill spoke with a local journalist living in D.C., and he's providing some very important context to what we watch, Larry. Good evening, Devin. Phil Lewis is a local Detroiter, but living in D.C. and working for the Huffington Post as a reporter. He covered the Black Lives Matter protests this summer and the riots at the Capitol Hill building yesterday. He tells me the two experiences are like night and day. I'm still trying to gather kind of my thoughts about what I saw yesterday. Local Detroiter Phil Lewis, a senior front page editor for the Huffington Post, is a pro with a pen and paper and can easily tell a story. But he said the riots at the Capitol building on Wednesday is hard to put in words. DC was one of the sort of hot spots for protests at the time. And Lewis had the opportunity to witness two historic events in DC, the Black Lives Matter protest this summer. I was down there on the streets. Um, after the uh, fatal sh police shooting of George Floyd. And the riots at the U.S. Capitol. I even saw some video uh, of police actually letting uh, the Trump supporters in the area. Lewis tells me covering both events should be easy as a journalist, but noticing a difference of how police interact with the two different groups is something to digest. This summer, he said officers cleared out protesters in just minutes. The way that they were able to clear out protesters of that area when they were like, okay, we're done. We don't want <laughs> we don't want you all down here anymore. They were able to clear out protesters in an instance. But Lewis said that was not the case with the riots at the Capitol. The, the level of force that uh, protesters and journalists received uh, in D.C. was just, it was not, it was not the same at all. Were you scared at all in covering both of these events? I think yes, you are. You are a little frightened for for your for your safety and for the safety of others. Um, but you know, as journalists, we have a job to do, and that's to get the news out and actually accurately uh, capture the events of what's going on around us. And Lewis tells me a lot of his family and friends from Metro Detroit reached out to him yesterday. His phone was blowing up, making sure that he was OK. He tells me that he is fine. He is just doing his job and witnessing history in the making. We're live tonight. Larry Spruill, Local 4.